Ibuan, Wanakam, Ambayoni Dimel. This is Boston Lanka News, bringing you news, views, and entertainment from Boston and USA. The president of Elam Tamil Association in America now supports President Mahinda Rajapaksa. Acton Town in USA celebrates its second annual Sri Lankan Day. Mr. Sripati Thilapalam, President of the Elam Tamil Association of America, who has been a strong opponent of the Sri Lankan government, is joining with Boston Lanka to talk about the recently passed 18th Amendment to the Sri Lankan Constitution and about the President Mahinda Rajapaksa. Mr. Thilampalam was one of the commissioners of the election commission that conducted the elections for the constituent assembly of the provisional transnational government of Tamil Elam. He is also the president of Elam Tamil Human Rights Organization in USA. Mr. Thilampalam joins us from Winchester, Massachusetts. Uh, Mr. Thilampalam. You are one of the leaders of the Tamil diaspora in USA who advocated a Tamil Elam. What would you think about the 18th Amendment of the Sri Lankan Constitution passed recently? Do you think that's a threat to the democracy in Sri Lanka? Well, first, first of all, let me say this. Because of Singhala only, we are learning English. So said the Buddhist priest, who fought for Singhala only and now teaching English in Buddhist temples. Sri Lanka belongs to Singhala Buddhist and minorities can stay as long as they don't ask for any rights. So said Sarat Fonseca, a former army commander, after killing 40,000 Tamils in three days. For the last 62 years, Sri Lankan politicians, under the pretext of freedom and democracy, abused the system. That has brought us to the 18th Amendment, which I feel it is the supreme right of the people to decide who they should have as their leader and how long he should rule the country. And we Sri Lankans have got ourselves into a black hole. And we need a leader like President Mahinda Rajapaksa to lead us out of this black hole. Tamil National Alliance, TNA, was opposed to the 18th Amendment and TNA MP Suresh Premajandran had said, we believe it is an attempt to take away the rights of the minority communities. Therefore, we cannot support it. Now, Mr. Tilampala, do you agree? Well, as I said earlier, we Sri Lankans have made a mess of all Sri Lankans' rights, the politicians. We must remember we need a leader like Mahinda Rajapaksa to lead us out of this mess. It is not only minorities' rights, even the majority rights all have been compromised because the way we messed up the freedom and democracy. And uh, now, uh, you know, there is lots of criticism of Mahinda Rajapaksa saying that he is trying to build a family dynasty and that his family controls all the key aspects of the country. Any comments? Yes, as for dynasty rule, Rajapaksa has three sons who has been brought up very well. I wish I had three sons like them. Sri Lankans are used to being ruled by kings and queens. So now we will be ruled by King, king Mahinda and his three sons. Sri Lankans have to learn to go back to their homes and learn to bring peace to themselves and to the country. And they will have to wait for another hundred years before their opinions can be taken into account after dynastic rule 
of the Rajapaksa family. If the three sons can behave respectably like Rahul Gandhi and Priyanka Gandhi and love their people, I am sure the Sri Lankans will give the three sons a chance to continue to lead the nation out of misery. As for Tamils, Douglas Devananda has risked his life to work for the Tamils. My advice is for the Tamils to support his leadership and he can work with Sinhalese to find a solution including a merged Northeast province under a federal system. You are the president of the Elam Tamil Association in America who worked tirelessly in lobbying with U.S. policymakers against the actions of Sri Lankan government. Now you are saying positive things about President Rajapaksa. One could begin to think that you are trying to be aligned with President Rajapaksa like people like KP. Can you explain your change of heart from being a strong opponent to the Rajapaksa regime to becoming a supporter? As a rule, I am never an anti or against anything. President Rajapaksa acted as a Sinhala leader. I am acting as a Tamil leader and I have done enough to bring to the attention of the Sinhala population that it is the interest of the people to have a peaceful country. And I don't think anybody can show me a statement that is anti Singhali, so anti Rajapaksa. But I will always complain if things go wrong. That's my job. Two leaders are not anti anything, but we have to learn to work together to bring peace to the country. As I said, I've always advocated Singhala majority should unilaterally implement a federal constitution, which I said in 1986 when Prime Minister Premadasa came to Boston to meet with me to resolve this problem. If it has been done in 1986, we still will be friends and the country will be a better place. So I am not anti anything. I know that uh, you are a student of religion. Do you have any observations about the role that can be played by major religions in Sri Lanka such as Buddhism and Hinduism? See, religion should not be used as a divisive factor, as a div divisive force. It should be used to unite the people. Take, for instance, Buddhism and Hinduism was brought to Sri Lanka by Tamils from India. When Buddhism lost grounds in Sri Lanka, Tamils reverted back to Hinduism, called themselves Tamils, and the Tamils who remained as Buddhists called them some Sinhalese, but I called them Sinhalese Tamils. Buddha is a Hindu. He was born to Hindu parents and lived as a Hindu preached and promoted Hindu values. Every follower of Hindu Buddha is a Hindu. As for Tamils who brought Buddhism to Sri Lanka should stop complaining about Buddhism being spread in Tamil areas. They should embrace Buddhism, promote the religion they brought. Buddha and Sangamitta were brought to Sri Lanka by Tamils and they landed in Jaffna. Singhalasized Tamils should adopt Buddhism, Buddha's Hindu religion, and go back to their roots as Tamils, Hindus. We will all be Tamil, Hindu, and followers of Buddha, who is a reincarnation of Hindu god Vishnu. If President Mahinda Rajapaksa can speak Tamil and go to Hindu temples, why not the rest of the population speaking all three languages? God bless Sri Lanka. 
Thank you, Mr. Tilapalam. Sri Lankan traditional drums echoed over the hills at Nara Park in Acton, Massachusetts on the overcast Sunday afternoon when Acton Town in USA celebrated its second annual Sri Lankan Day. Musicians and dancers from the New England Lanka Academy entertained the audience throughout the event, including both traditional Sri Lankan performances and fusion dances mixed with contemporary jazz moves. <laughs> also featured Sri Lankan food such as hoppers, string hoppers, lamp rice and faluda and artisan crafts. The Sri Lankan Association of New England organized the event. That concludes our news edition this week. We meet you next week with another news edition of news, views and entertainment from Boston and USA. Till then, goodbye.